Hey guys, I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite skincare tools. This is the Skin Scrubber. In this video, I'll show you how to use it, I'll talk about its benefits, and I'll go into some details about skincare tips and some other things that you can do for pore extraction as well because really that's what this is all about, is getting all the gunk out of your pores. Before I get started, if you like product reviews and makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, anything really beauty related and a little bit of lifestyle, subscribe to my channel, I promise you won't be disappointed. And also ring that little bell, it will notify you every single time I post something new. The Skin Scrubber helps get all of the gunk out of your pores and it also is safe for all skin types. So that's one of the reasons I'm such a big fan because I can refer it to basically everyone and you will see benefits from this. I will say that the name is a little bit misleading. I've seen it called the Skin Scrubber and also a Skin Spatula, which is probably a little bit more fitting, but the common name on the market is a Skin Scrubber. So if you're looking for one to buy, I'll link the one that I have below. The Skin Scrubber has a lot of claims and really the only reason I use it is to get the gunk out of my pores. The way that it works is the ultrasonic sound waves jiggle the gunk out and then you use a spray. I mean, this is the one I have on hand, but really any water spray will work. You could literally just use water. What that does is it helps it glide along your skin and then also the water penetrates into your pores and helps loosen all the gunk in it. So really it's like, they say that it can help with pigmentation and wrinkles and boosting collagen and all this other stuff. I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm literally here to tell you how to use this to get the gunk out of your pores because that's the only reason I use this. I use this once every one or two weeks. You can use it up to five times a week if you have really clogged pores, but I actually don't recommend that. I would say once a week is probably more than enough for even the most acneic and oily skin types. And Extractions just help your pores look smaller. If your pores are clearer, they're gonna look smaller. Plain and simple. So using tools like this make at-home extractions really easy. I can't afford to get a facial every week and my pores do fill up really fast. So if I don't do my extractions every week, I can definitely see a difference. I feel like my skin looks more dull and I tend to break out a lot easier. So using at-home methods like this and then a few other tools that I'll share later in this video just help keep my skin happy. A lot of estheticians don't like their clients doing at-home extractions because you can actually do more damage to your skin, you can create redness, inflammation, you can actually make your acne worse and spread it, you can like spread bacteria, it's just all bad. So I do understand why estheticians don't like people doing them at home, but I'm going to teach you the proper technique on how to use this, how to clean it right, and also the aftercare to keep your skin glowing and clear and happy. So the reason I like this one is because if you look at the edges, you'll see how they go up right here and here. So that kind of gives you a little bit more of that angle to really get into the pore, which I like. I've seen some that have a more rounded top. If you're looking to buy one of these, I highly recommend one with the more pointy edges. And also you don't need the more expensive ones on the market. This one I think was $23 and it works just fine. I've seen some of them going for like $200, absolutely insane. You can get this for way less and it's gonna work for you. So what you need besides the skin scrubber is alcohol. This is gonna disinfect it. This is one of the most important steps whenever you're doing any sort of extraction or skincare at home. You wanna make sure that all of your tools are clean. So I use, I think it's like 90% alcohol. It dries really fast, which is cool, but I just put it in a little spray bottle and spray it directly on and then wipe it off. And then you need some sort of water spray. This is from Herbivore, but honestly, any water spray will work. Like I said, you can even just use water in a spray can. It's fine. The whole point of this is to just help it glide along your skin. And then I have a light up magnifying mirror. This is great, but it will also ruin your life. This will enable you to see everything going on in your skin. And then I like to have either a cotton pad or a paper towel, something to just wipe the gunk off of this as you're going along. All right, so let's get into how to use the device. So first you wanna make sure that you have clean skin. I love to do my extractions right after I get out of a shower because I feel like all the gunk in my pores is loose and it's easier to get it out that way. But you don't have to. You can also just wash your face with your regular cleanser. And then what I do is I disinfect all of my tools, grab my mirror, and we're ready to go. So let's get into it. Grab your alcohol and spray the device and then take a paper towel and wipe it off. 
Now you spray your water spray on the area that you're going to treat. And as you're treating, you can use quite a bit of pressure actually. It's okay, you turn the device on and you run it up against your skin. I always start on my nose because that's where I have the most congestion. You can see it coming out in that middle area there. In the harder to reach areas, like the sides of your nose, this is where the corner of the tool really comes in handy. So instead of using the flat center area of the tool, you can take the corner and push it along where all of the pores are, and you will just see the gunk coming out. Keep spraying water as you go over your skin because it will dry as you're treating your face and the tool creates a lot of friction so it can get warm and feel a little uncomfortable, but the water will help prevent that. And you can go over the same areas more than once, like here's my second time over on my nose and you can see that there's more stuff coming out. You can use this device on your whole face or you can just focus on the areas where you have a lot of congestion, that's totally up to you. But same idea applies here where you spray the water spray on the area that you're going to treat and you run the device over the wet area. I like to do this on my whole face because it does give you a really beautiful glow when you're done and your skin will feel invigorated. That light buzzing sound is what the tool sounds like. So I wanted to show you guys this close up of that big one I got. Ugh, it's not that fun showing you all the gunk in my pores up close, but here we are. <laughs> so you'll notice that I am really trying to get that one on the side of my nose and sometimes it's just not possible to get everything out with the skin scrubber. So now I'm going to share a few more tools that I absolutely love for extractions. This one is great because what it does is you just push and you can squeeze the gunk out. I don't use the sharp side. And then also this little guy, it has these little holes in the end. This is also really good for running along your pores and you can just see it fill up and all the gunk come out as you go down. So these are some other great tools. Just regular tweezers work really well too. You just wanna make sure you disinfect it. And I have another video that I can link where I show you how to use these tools. And then whenever I'm done messing with my skin, I always go in with a high frequency machine. So, can you hear that? This is really cool. It basically zaps the bacteria on your skin and it goes away. So if you have like a really big zit that you're trying to get to heal fast, this will help with that. I also have a video where I explain all of the benefits of this machine and this is a must have, especially if you have acne prone skin because you can literally zap your zits and they will go away so much faster. But I love it whenever I mess with my skin because going over my whole face with this, I just know that I killed all the bacteria and the chances of me breaking out afterwards are a lot less. Your after skincare routine is probably the most important out of any skincare routine you have because your skin is at its most vulnerable. So I always go in with toner. This is my favorite. It's from the drugstore, but it's Thayer's Witch Hazel and I love the rose petal scent. Witch Hazel is really good for purifying your skin and then this one's alcohol free so it's not drying. So I go over my face with toner and then I'll either go in with one of three options. I'll do either a clarifying mask if I feel like I am breaking out and I just want to really help treat it. I love this one from Peter Thomas Roth because it's non-drying. So a lot of acne masks can be drying and this one isn't, but it also just helps make my skin look really clear and glowy. If I'm not really feeling like I have a lot of breakouts, but I just feel inflamed and red, the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Mask is amazing. This one's just really soothing and hydrating. And then if I really want to just go for it and treat my skin, doing something like The Ordinary, this is the AHA 30%, BHA 2% Peel Mask. This one will just make your skin look super glowy and beautiful. You could also use peel pads, I mean really anything, but right now is the time to do something fun to your skin because 
it's gonna absorb the best. You just got all of the gunk out of your pores, so this is the time to really treat your skin. If your pores clog easily like mine, then doing your at-home extractions is definitely gonna make a difference, but also your skincare matters. So using products that resurface your skin and keep the dead skin cells out of your pores, that will also help. So I can share a few products. I'll link them in the bio for you if you want more information on other ways that you can keep your skin clear and your pores looking small. All right, so that is how you use the skin scrubber. It's so easy and it's probably one of my all-time favorite skincare tools. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you guys next time.